Ask Reddit by, deleted. Who, in your opinion, is the most overrated band artist? This thread is the perfect thread to display Reddit's age demographics. I don't even know who Machine Gun Kelly is. DJ Khaled DJ Khaled DJ Khaled This post reminds me of my lifelong goal to start a cover band called Cricklamouth. We only play Creed, Nickelback, and Smashmouth songs and we tour the state fair circuit making thousands of dollars per year and disappointing housewives with sexual prowess that is worse than our covers of Photograph, All Star, and Arms Wide Open. Cricklamouth is hilarious. Honestly most artists who become extremely popular usually have a fall off in music quality. I think it's because they ditch their unique styles try to cater to more people, and create generic radio music. Drake is one big example of this. I love all of his old stuff but I can't stand him now. There's another thing to consider, too. You have your whole life to think of your first album. You have a year to think of your second. If your first album blows up and you need to create another, and the studio is throwing money at you and hiring producers for you, it's gonna for sure limit what you can draw from and produce more generic results. Reminder to sort by controversial. Meh. Controversial is just Queen, Beatles, Queen, Beatles, and Queen. Edit. For the record, I'm not saying that either of those bands are overrated. Not at all. Just that they are the default controversial answers to this question. Adam Levine. How long did girls like you top the charts? Too long. Always thought the song topping the charts as rigged like I never heard it being played out loud or sang by anyone. DJ Khaled. Why did I read this using his voice? Chris Brown The dude shouldn't have a career right now. R. Kelly too, he just released a new album. 95% of modern male country artists. Bo Burnham really got that right. It's the damn scarecrow again. In terms of current popularity, Jack Hollow. I am a pretty big rap fan, but man that guy makes some of the most mid music I've ever heard. None of it is necessarily bad, but none of it is good either. He just sounds like a white version of when Drake phones it in. Honestly, that whole Drake phoning it in sound that's become popular in hip hop has been bugging me. It's just so bland. It's hip hop's answer to easy listening. The saxophone section in my high school band. The only reason the band directors loved them is because they had parents who paid the band. I'm talking about you Dax, Kevin, and Kylie. Fuck you to Ethan, you couldn't even play trumpet good, your parents were just involved. I played the saxophone in high school. There's just something about the saxophone that just attracts these assholes. Machine Gun Kelly and Maroon 5 Maroon 5 is like the RBs of music. JLO Her hit single Taco Flavored Kisses was pretty catchy. Spinal Tap Their Shark Sandwich album might be reviewed as shit sandwich. Their contributions to mechanical and electrical engineering cannot be overstated. Every device I own now goes to 11. Haven't seen one Pink Floyd comment. Which is good. Drake's singing voice is terrible. He sounds like an unbalanced washing machine. I thought that was the auto-tune but IDK. Maroon 5. Yeah you can sing high and sell yourself big fucking hoopty do. As far as I'm concerned Maroon 5 put out a debut album and that's their entire discography. Chris Brown. The fact he still has fans is disgusting. It's not cool to shit on people and I know that I might not be the intended audience for artists such as Taylor Swift or Nicki Minaj, 
but I can acknowledge that artists might have talent and appeal even if I don't personally like them. That said, all modern country music is such trash. Seriously, what the fuck is Florida Georgia Line? Drake. He's the McDonald's of rap. Just pumps out volume but doesn't have any substance emo. Jack Hollow. Without question. I might be showing my age, can you be showing your age at 34, but, this person sounds like a cologne. The current incarnation of Gwen Stefani. Drake's fucking ass. Drake is the type of guy to say okay, now it's personal after reading this. I have to admit, I am a white man in my 50s, and I don't think Kiss is that great. I've tried numerous times to truly like them to no avail. The riffs are beginner-ish, lyrics are chessy, the mix is horrible, I guess I missed the boat on them. I dunno. I think the thing with Kiss is that Kiss was never really about the music. They knew how to promote themselves and put on a hell of a show, leaning heavier into the tricks rather than music. Machine Gun Kelly. He seems repulsive in just about every way. I'm gonna be hated over this, but sometimes I think it's Selena Gomez. Her singing is very basic to me and her lyrics too. Sometimes, I don't get why she's so famous. I love her as an actress and I think she's a lovely lady overall, but in most of her music she sounds like a very average singer. I personally think she only sounds better than average in round and round. I might be giving her too much credit there because I think it's a really fun song to listen to. Stevie Wonder. Is an artist I am very glad I haven't yet found anywhere on this thread. Lol you made me almost throw my phone. Never understood the Bieber craze. This would be top comment a decade ago. Easy, Drake. Hands down. Maroon 5. Camilla Cabello. I'll be home for Kois Mois. Mumford and Amp. Sons should have been the best band you've ever seen at a farmer's market. On the way home it'd go. I really should have bought a CD but the queue was too long. Then you'd never think about them again. Crack a barrel bluegrass is how I always describe them. Beyonce. Don't get me wrong. She's not bad. She's incredibly talented actually, but her fans treat her like the second coming of Jesus. Edit, gold. Wow, thanks kind stranger. Amazing voice and singer, but she sings the same way in every song, and the whole world treats her like she cured cancer. I'm sorry Nicki Minaj is a great rapper and all, but she is not worth the amount of toxic Twitter stands fighting over her all day. Her fan base is toxic AF just like her and Amp, her rapist husband. Drake's voice makes me want to drink water. You must be really hydrated. Machine Gun Kelly. Pretty much the poser archetype. Beyonce. She's talented and has some good songs, but she's not flawless. She's not a goddess, and she's not royalty. There, I said it. I prefer the sound of my dogs barking than listening to Cardi B. She sounds like Riley from Boondarks. Roy Dong. He's no Paul Buffano, that's for sure. That jackass machine gun Kelly. Kiss. Now before any hardcore fans jump my ass let me explain. I'm only 25 so didn't grow up with the hype, now I have heard of some of the shit that Kiss has done through the years good and bad, your choice. But there is like maybe 3 songs I won't skip if it's been quite a while since I last heard it. They were very good at marketing themselves. If they didn't do the face paint thing, I doubt they would have been nearly as big as they were, but I also get that people love them because it's theater, not just a concert. Drake. Drake. 